That is funny. <laughs> I joined the Air Force because I didn't have any very many resources in my life and I knew I wanted to get out of my small town but mostly I needed the opportunities that the Air Force was going to provide and so I joined the Air Force. My parents are first generation Americans. Uh, they fled their home country due to a violent civil war. They came to the States seeking refuge and, and more opportunities for them and we have a lineage of military service in their respective countries so that it was natural for me to want to join the military and I'm the first member of my family to join the U.S. military and I see it as more of, of like a debt of gratitude I have for this country for not only allowing my parents to seek refuge in it but allowing their, their, their son to progress further and seek opportunities. I work at weapons standardization and we are tasked with training on loading munitions and making sure everybody does it in a safe and reliable manner. I primarily instruct intelligence officers and all source intelligence analysts on uh, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance um, and their capability to be a liaison officer. And then I also instruct them on how to brief uh, threats and adversary capabilities to the tactical air control party at the Air Support Operations Squadron. When you think about STEM, you don't even realize most of the stuff you're doing is STEM related because you're just so busy working. But when you break it down, I think a lot of the Air Force does use STEM in any regard because we're air power, right? We got aircraft. Their aircraft is going to rely on technology, science, engineering, and mathematics to continue to develop over time. Basically, you know, it's it's all those hard sciences uh, that are interconnected that create you know technological advances in you know stuff such as med the medical field, communication, the Internet of Things. It's something that you unconsciously use every day. You even know you're using stuff that scientists, uh, engineers, and mathematicians have developed for decades. Um, that's why it's important. You know, emphasizing that, you know, even though we're not doing math equations every day, we still are very heavily dependent on STEM. So I think if we can make it more interesting and more, more relevant to students now, um, I think it would be extremely beneficial. Uh, I think that it was pretty cool that they had uh, those, the displays of, of different uh, aspects of STEM. So the drones, the 3D printers, the robots. I wish I had it as a kid, uh, but I think it's very beneficial because you know, it's, it could spark that interest in those students to pursue a STEM career field in the future. Growing up uh, in high school, I was part of a lot of teams, right? And when I joined the Air Force, I knew I wanted to be part of a team. And weapons specifically, we work in groups of three. So you are a team, you're a one, two, or three. Um, and what you're doing is really gonna help protect the people that you love the most. And so what better team to be on than the one that's fighting for everyone. <laughs>